Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, hi. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome guys. It's been a long time. So guys, on social media, we have this thing going about where everyone is doing like their Barbie transformation. So I decided to jump on to this and also do a Barbie look for you guys. So this is my Barbie look. How's your girl looking? How is your girl looking? <laughs> I hope you guys like it. To see how you can achieve this exact look, please keep on watching this video. Love you guys. Please make sure you watch to the end. Please share this video and like, comment, let me know how I did and what other looks you would like to see on me. Thank you guys. Keep watching. So guys, I'm going to start by cleaning my face. Even though I'm bad and all that, I just want to clean it so that we start with a clean surface area. Okay, so I have my little mirror here. I'm going to be using as well. So yeah. I hope this video is not going to be like a very long video because I would try as much as possible to make it short. I don't know. I just don't want to like something long for you guys so you don't get bored along the way. Yeah. So I'm done cleaning. So as I said, even do a bath, you see the amount of dirt that still came out. So it's always best to wipe your face again before you start your makeup. Just to, you know, have a very clean surface. So now that that is done, I'm going to be using my moisturizer. I use the ordinary moisturizer. I use a tiny bit. I really don't use a lot. In fact, I forgot. No. Let me use my spray first. So I use this rose water for my face. You can leave it to dry or just blend it in also so if you have like a fan or something you can just blow it now time for our moisturizer i usually don't use a lot just this bit put it all over do it and then you just blend that in there you can also use your hand to blend it I just prefer to use my brush sometimes so you can use your hand to like i can put it down and like just go in this way in the circular motion just put it in there so whichever one you choose but i'll just remember to go upwards yeah now that's in there the next thing i'm going to be putting is my primer this real primer got to put there right there there and there it should be enough this primer is also like a, a highlighter so the noise in the background is not disturbing you guys i live close to the road so there's going to be a lot of like car noises in the background so please just bear with me Uh, 
Okay, now we're done with the primer. And as you can see, it's like, when you look at my face, it looks a little bit highlighted. That's because the primer I used has like highlighting sort of effect. That is like a highlighter, yeah. So I need to highlight my face. So that's why my face is looking like this because of the highlights. So now we are going to be moving on to our brows. You're going to brush your brows properly. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting my eyebrow. I'm going to be setting it with um, powder. So I have like this white one. That's what I'm going to be using to set it so that when I'm drawing it, I wouldn't, um, what's it called? be oily around my brows so that my brows can last longer and when i'm drawing my eyebrows too it helps it also helps so i'm just going to set it and then you're going to be taking your spoolie and then brush it again brush them in place and today I think I want to be adding a little wasp so I'm just going to take a little this is my wax I'm taking just a little and I'm going to be putting that on it as well Just a little. I'm going to use the same thing for this side because I still have some on the brush. And I don't want to use a lot. Now that my brows are in place. I'm going to be drawing them. So this is my pencil. Start from the lower side. You see how, because I set my brows, you see how you can really see how my brows are coming out. And I like how this is looking. So I'm going to move on to the next one. I'll come back to this. I'm going to be doing the same thing with it. see i'm going to do the top i know it looks mm, right now but you'll see trust the process just trust the process this is wonderful so now when this is done you fill the brows in Am I looking like my view already? <laughs> I 
Okay, so I don't want my front part to be too ash. So I have this other brow pencil. It's really pointy. I'm going to be using to like draw hair like strokes at the front part of my brows. Okay guys, so now it's time to conceal. I know it's not a perfect but as I said, you got to trust the process. So now I'm going to be using my LA Girl concealer. This like a few shades lighter than me, like way way lighter than me. So I think it's like two shades lighter than me. Anyways, I use just that much. I put it at the back of my hand. I don't just put it directly on my eyebrows. Sorry, I'm just trying to like put away things while I'm doing this. I don't want to leave a mess. So now I'm going to be putting that the beginning part of my brows hope you guys can see And we're going to be doing the same thing for the other eye as well. Sorry, I didn't realize I was covering you guys. No, that's better. So now we're going to be using our foundation shade, not even our foundation shade, our foundation. The foundation doesn't have a pump, so I always have to turn it to be able to get something out. Yep. We're going to take that as well, the same way we did our concealer right here. 
take our foundation okay we are going to be using that for the front part of it you see how that just blends so we we'll extend it to the outer part just to get rid of some of the harshness my number is also like a bit dramatic and more dabba you know let's go with the flow and see how she comes out so we'll do that also to this place I'm doing like a U brow right now. But you bring everything down. Everything downwards. And then we are going to be blending all that. But before that, we're going to use the same foundation to do the top of our brows. The top part. Yeah, let's see. Beautiful. Okay guys, so that's how it's looking. Bring it out towards that's beautiful. And the foundation might look lighter, but it's also because of the lightening. Because if I go outside, it's going to look totally different. So um, I'm sorry, my mirror might cover this eye a bit, but the same process we did for this, that's what we're going to be doing for this. Let me try. So now we are going to be blending that
Okay guys, so we are done with the eyebrows and these are the eyebrows I'm looking at the moment. This is what they look like. If they look too harsh, you just like put here and you see the lighting of it. So so I'm really worried about your brows, you can lighten them. So now we're going to be moving to our eye. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on it. Yep, and then we're going to be blending it. You notice that when I do my makeup, I don't really use a lot of things. Ouch. <laughs> That's because I don't really like using like a lot of products on my face. I have eyelash in my eyeballs. <laughs> so, yeah. So. I'm like a little to none, little to no makeup kind of person. I don't overdo it. So now we're going to be doing our eye eyeshadow. So <laughs> yeah, you need to know how to work with your eyeshadows. You need to learn how to work with different shades you need to know how to blend how to blend properly very very important so that's what we're going to be doing now i'm picking up my brushes as i'm doing so i have two eyeshadow palettes here <laughs> i dropped it guys oh my god i was so scared it's not broken safe so I have this first one from Beauty Creations, that's like all my neutral palettes and all that. And then I have this palette from Zaron Cosmetics. Yes. So first of all, I'm going to be starting with um, the Beauty Creations one. I'm going to be starting with my upper, upper eye and i'm just trying to remove i recently used my brush so it has like pink pigments on it even though we are going with pink but yeah make sure you have a clean brush everyone so get those colors out to pop on your eye properly please make sure you have a clean brush don't be me <laughs> so yeah i'm going to i want to start with like my Back part. So I want to start with something neutral. So I'm going to be starting with. I was thinking this shade, but this shade goes like perfectly with my skin. So I might be taking Beach B, which is this shade, and I might mix it with um Sunset. I don't know yet. So let's see how the blending goes. I might mix it. So I'm starting with the beach bay at the very top of my eye. So like where the arc is. Maybe arc or arch. Whichever. Starting with that, we just want to pat it in. Just pat it in. Let me come closer so you guys can see what we are working with. Okay, so from the looks of it, I might be using just that color. I like the way it's coming out, so I'll do it to the other side. So you guys, whatever I do to this side, I'm going to be doing to this side as well. And as you can see, I'm not like going shuku shuku on my eyes. <laughs> I'm just like patting it in, patting it in. I'm not blending or anything. I'm just patting it into my eye my lid my brow 
underneath my brow yes let me just use that word because actually underneath my brow i'm just going to go in i like how it's looking that's what i'm saying like i'm not going to be mixing so i'm just using that shade let me show you let me show you guys the shade again this is it this one beach b that's what i'm using at the moment I'm coming closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sorry for coming up close and personal, but I want you guys to see. Don't want you to miss any part at all. Wow. Okay. So. I'm going to start my own business soon. I hope you guys will patronize me. Call me to do your makeup and all for you. As I said, I don't like doing too much. Usually, sometimes I just stick with using two eyeshadows usually if i use a lot then it might be three eyeshadows but i don't do more than or should i say i've never done more than because the shades i usually use are okay for me now i'm going to be moving to my other brush which is this other one i'm going to be using the shade for my zaron um, i'm going to be going with this shade it's called flame i'm going to be using this shade and this shade but i don't know i think i'll start with this shade i might be using three shades today the way i'm seeing how things are going i might use three shades so i'll start no so you know what scratch that i'm going to be using this shade and then this lighter pink so i'll start with this this fiesta and rebel so i'll start with um fiesta right beneath this and then end with treble so take our shade you see wow wow you see the shade of the fiesta so nice so i'm going to be putting that right here right underneath what i just did this beautiful so beautiful and then i'm going to like wing it a bit i'm going to wing it wingy wingy so it's okay we, let's move for one step to another let me finish this and i'll show you guys what i was going to see you see how this part is showing we're going to be blending that in also because you want everything to be smooth you get me smooth 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 And I said wing it, so let's keep going this way. Let's wing it. So let's move to the next eye. I'm going to do the exact same thing we did to this eye. So this eye. Don't forget to wing it. Wing, 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 wing. See how beautiful it is. Barbie has got nothing on this look. <laughs> Are you guys loving it so far? Because I am. I am loving this look. Oh. 
Okay, so now to blend what I was talking about initially, like this side and that side, we're going to go back into a beach babe and just blend that. See how blended this becoming. So see this and see this. You can totally tell the difference between how this side is looking and this side. Even though we are not done blending this, you can tell the difference. See this side and see that side. Yeah. So you just blend more. Now see guys, see. See this side compared to this side can totally tell the difference right this side and this side so now let's move to this side as well I want to blend the key to a good your foundation yeah sorry your eyeshadow coming out beautifully is knowing how to blend if you don't have patience to blend i don't know it's gonna turn out the wrong way so i can so now guys see see always have time to blend please always have time to blend your eyeshadows beautiful okay and always make sure you're winging it so we are done with that one I hope the lighting is letting people see properly. We are going to go to our last, um, what's it called? What's that thing called? Eyeshadow. <laughs> and we're going to get this other brush and take the last shade, which is the Rebel, the lighter pink one. We are going to be putting it at the under part, this side. And blend that in. See how it's looking, guys. We are pink. We are officially pink. I'm thinking of using like a lash for this look. But the lash I have is so dramatic, like really dramatic, really full. So I don't know. Oh my god, guys, I said I wasn't going to let this video be long, but <laughs> we don't end all. I need to hurry up for you guys. I really do not want this to be like a very long um, makeup look. So we're taking that other brush we use for the Rebel to like blend it in. Just blend it in. Okay. Now this is the look. But then we all know what is Barbie without a little, you know, drama with a little shimmer so i have some shimmers over here i don't know i have these two pink shades and then i have another one this pigment are from colorbox i have this i don't know which one which one do you guys think we should use i really don't know right now i'm thinking this because of like the way the eyes looking but I'm thinking also this. I don't know, guys. Which one? <laughs> Which one do you guys think? Uh, oh my god. So, okay, I forgot. This is um, Dubai. This one is called Dubai. This one. Is it Dubai? I'm oh, sorry. Cash is Queen. This one is Cash is Queen. This one is Money Slay. This one is Slay. 
that's like a baby pink and this is rich auntie that's like a pink with like gold um let's see oh let's see guys this is the cash's queen see how it's looking i feel like it's too much it's too much for this look this is money sleeve oh my god it's so hard oh you can actually see the pigment the pigments flying on around this is money sleeve i feel like it's too light as well uh, and then the last one is rich auntie this is rich auntie ah uh, so difficult to decide okay i think we should go with rich auntie so what i'm going to do is we're going to be taking our brush again and i don't really want a lot to on the cover there's a bit there that's what i'm going to be using so that it's not too much and we're going to be putting it right here oh my god This is beautiful, guys. Oh. Okay, now looking at it, I, can, I think I'm going to mix it with the Dubai because it's coming out gold more than pink. And we want that pink. So, yes, we're going to be adding the the cash is queen that's the really oopsie the really darker one because come on okay so we're going to be adding this this one down to you know drama This is how it's looking. Okay. I think this is looking way better, yes. It's looking way, way better. Beautiful guys. Wow. Yes, guys so let's just save this put this aside and move on to the next thing um i wanted to do what's that thing called liner but the thing about me and liner is i'm really really scared of liners so i don't know i'm thinking guys should i you <clears throat> let's do lashes let's do lashes i hate lashes as well but for you guys we're going to use it <laughs> let's hope this thing comes out right too so this is the lash that i'm talking about it's so dramatic guys so so dramatic please let me put on my lash off camera and come back on camera to continue for you guys because my lash is always pro problematic so please let me go off and come guys i'm back this is how barbie is looking 
I'm not a lash person, so at this point, I just want to see if I can use my mascara and make this fat work because, come on, Bali, should I leave it, guys, or so take it off? Because, and let me try this. If you're a lash person, please, you can wear a lash. It took me a long time to to fix this so let me tell you guys off camera it took me a long time and i've still not even done it well guys what do you think about this sha sorry covering you guys again ah i think this one has to work oh guys <laughs> we are taking this thing off because it has even spots like my eye look as you can see it has spoiled it for me so now i didn't want to do eyeliner but because of this silly silly thing i think i'm going to do eyeliner actually it's not for all of us okay i've tried it i've really tried it i've tried my best to like always have it on but no Yep, that's just two eyeliner. So I'm using, <clears throat> I think this Anastasia, the name has cleaned off it. I've had it for a while. But it's like the, what's that thing called? The gel sort of one. That's what I'm using. The gel one. Hmm. Ha! Huh. What a beautiful Barbie. Barbie with natural lashes. Yeah. One thing about me is I'm also no good at what's it called? Drawing my own liner. But for people, I did perfectly. Okay, wow. Everyone should excuse my liner. Eh? Please don't mind my liner. Should have just done that small thing and stopped it there. I don't know who I was trying to do liner for. Now see him. Anyways, what I like about makeup, you can always work all this out. Okay, to the next eye. Uh -huh. You can't go come back and kill yourself. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Have you seen a baby this beautiful? I bet you haven't. I'm a beautiful baby. Call me Bianca Baby. Yes, guys this is beautiful so it's like a tiny wing tiny wing yes so now let me do the mascara properly let's draw our let's do our mascara oh i keep poking my eye guys many people know that I wear glasses so sometimes it's really difficult and I keep poking my eye I don't even understand that one
DMs, guys. It's beautiful. And then um, my mascara is by Bare Minerals Strengthen and Lengthen. This. So now, hey, <coughs> I drew my lash out real. No matter what, we'll find use for this lash. So this is how we are looking. For now. So now let's quickly go to our foundation because I have kept long. Oopsie. I have really kept long. And I don't want to keep long again. So foundation here. Yeah. And I newly discovered that if you don't want your under eye to crack, you should actually avoid putting foundation there. And then also for your nose, if you don't want your foundation to like um, be separating, you should also not put foundation on there. So avoid your under eye and avoid putting a lot of foundation under your nose. It, on your nose, onto your nose, sorry. So we are just going to be doing this. This will be faster because I've wasted your time. And I know right now, I am looking a lot fairer than my natural self. But it is, um, what's that thing called? It is the lightening. And also... When the foundation dries, it blends perfectly to me. When the foundation dries, it lightens, yes. I don't even know what I'm saying. Hey, God. Mm. So it's the lightening, you know. It's the lightening. It's not that my foundation is not a like, color or whatever it's just a light here. and i actually think i'm going to be cleaning i don't know i might leave it like that or i might clean it we'll see Where's your baby? I'm your baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My this one is going to be lighter. Well, I should just mix it. See here. Yeah? On this look, I've already made a very annoying mistake with uh, this eyelash eyeliner thing. So let me just do what I do. So first of all, let's just take a little bit of this, a very light concealer at that part and then we are going to mix the other one, mix the other one to go perfectly with our shade. Yep. So if you have like a concealer that is already your shade, you just go with it back. I don't so I'm going to be blending it to find my shade and apply <coughs> hey did I tell you guys I was sick I'm sick oh, so if you hear me coughing sorry I'm sick I have a cough a terrible cough My terrible cough doesn't want to go. Started coughing since yesterday. It came, it made me weak and all that, but I was lying down there feeling bored. And I'm like, nah, let me just make a video. Might make me feel better. So, yeah, I am making the video. So that I'm not just lying down there feeling sick. Yeah, so now we've highlighted and we are going to be blending them out.
move to the south as well. I don't really blend my nose properly because not that I don't blend it properly, I don't blend it well well because I want to so that when I contour I can have that you know pointed nose effect. We with a big nose, we really need it. So when I'm done with this, you can see like you can still see harsh lines so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my beauty blender and push in so i'm definitely going to take a video outside so that <laughs> So that you guys see that I'm not looking as white as this light is showing you people because I'm honestly not as light as this. I don't know why it's showing you guys me being light like this because I'm truly not light like that. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be setting our eyes. Hmm. So I have a setting powder. I have a benign, benign setting powder, loose setting powder. So I'm going to be pouring that onto my this one, onto this flat surface, and then taking my brush, set all the places that I need setting. My nose and I need my eye. Set all the necessary places, all the place, places that you highlighted, just set them.
Okay, so now we are going to be doing a contour. Contour, contour, contour. So I have like a little palette here. So for my contour, I'm going to be using the darkest shade over here. Go round and round and round and contour that area. So we are contouring this area. We could have also used the um, that powder also a lighter shade to do a uh, highlighting like setting that under eye but you know I just wanted to enhance like everything because Barbie is extra extra Barbie extra ass Barbie. So now we are doing uh, our nose. We need to control our nose. I can't find. Where did I drop everything here? Yeah. <laughs> we we'll use the same thing to control our nose. Let's try brushing all this away. So, for it to blend properly, now we are going to be taking our powder shade, our powder shade, and blending the harsh lines. Yes, blend the harsh lines. Blend everything in. Wow, I look so white guys. I look so so white. But like I'm not white, like <laughs> it's weird. Anyways, not to worry. I'm gonna show you guys how I actually look. Oh my god, I'm looking so cute. Okay. So now moving on, moving on. I'm going to do my under eye. I forgot to tell you guys that I'm still going to do my other eye because we extra like that. So I'm going to take Fiesta again to do my under eye. Fiesta for my under eye. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the glitter and put at the under part as well. Are you 
here, puppy girl. Are we for this video is a lip color um i don't know i think i want to go for a red i think i want to go for a red lip but before that let's put a bit of mascara under underneath uh -uh. Pointy nose. Okay, so um, I'm going to be putting a bit of glitter. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Let's set. In fact, let's set this. not blushing yet are we are we bad as if we are not blushing okay so we're going to be using blush we're going to be using this nika k do blush thing in color nd006 i'm using the two colors so dip 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 like that ha Playing a bit of contour here as well. So it's like contouring blush, contouring blush. Okay, so now it's time for our highlights. Guys, my head aches. Really aches. But I'm doing this for you guys. So yeah. I'm using this um, pigment melanin glow also by a color box. This is how it looks. Yep. I don't want to do too much. if you guys can see it let me do this side and see if you'll be able to see this and be instead yes the glow guys the glow is real
Okay, guys. And to the lipstick, I'm just going to go with this. this darker this uh, beauty model i guess it's just a pink pink lipstick and i'm going with this um bare mineral lip gloss a bit of a shade sincerity it's called sincerity so just putting that on there I know you're supposed to like line your lips before doing your lipstick but I always like to do my lipstick before lining I don't know why but it works for me so yeah and I'm going to be lining it Sometimes it looks like no difference, but trust me, it makes a difference. So, yeah, let's do our edges. Edges time, edges time. I'm going to be looking down, guys, because I have my, this one down there. terrible when it comes to like doing my edges so you guys should bear with me as I do my edges okay I really don't know how I'm going to shorten this thing for you guys, but I'm going to try to shorten it. I'm really going to try. Okay, when we come back, I'm going to show you guys the finish. <laughs> so guys, this is the final look. I had to come out so that you could see that you know it's just the lightning that was making me look at the way i was looking but yeah this is the finished look i hope you guys like it i'll try and shorten the video for you people because even for me it's too long so yeah please don't forget to share like this video comment let me know your thoughts about this look 
and if you'd want to see more of this look later guys bye